this model it represents the wall of the small intestine specifically the last little segment of it called the ilium how do i know that well because the ilium has these lymphatic nodules in them and i'll sh and you'll see these in the slide uh, image but these lymphatic nodules here in the intestine are called Peyer's patches, P-E-Y-E-R apostrophe S patches. And these are present at the lower reaches of your small intestine because they're right next to the large intestine. And the large intestine has loads and loads of bacteria that you probably don't want uh, populating your small intestine. Now, another thing we notice here, which is common throughout the small intestine, are these finger-like projections. So each one of these finger-like projections here is called a villus. So these in total are called villi. So intestinal villi are these projections. Within each villus, you'll see a little tube of green here and that the green is gonna represent its lymphatic tissue. So this is a little extension of your lymphatic system. You also see capillaries, you know, capillary beds. So what's the job of your small intestine uh, to digest and absorb food. So you've got a lot of surface area provided by these villi, lots of folds and nooks and crannies, and then you've got blood vessels to absorb a lot of the nutrients and lacteals, that's what they call these. This is a lacteal, the, the, uh, the lymphatic system portion. Lacteals absorb fats. So the fats that you digest and absorb go into the lacteals, they get into your lymphatic system proper and ultimately are returned to your cardiovascular system where, they, where your liver can have a go at them. 